Ooh, girl. So I got this phone delivered. And like, I guess it's like a new service they have with AT&T where they come to your house and they set it up for you. This man was six foot ten. No. Yeah. We don't have to close that door. Hung. Since, dong. Since no one's home. Did he have dong for days? Did you look? Oh, I felt it. In the back of my throat. Stop. <laughs> Let me come in my throat. Da -na 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 -na. Hello. Welcome to IMHO. In my homosexual opinion, I'm Auntie Knockers Chan. It gets me every time. Somebody, do you see someone put in the comments like, did I miss the part where she decided to start just putting boob stuff in her name? Yeah. Is there a reason for it? No, nope. there's not. Nope, never it's a reason for this is. show. It's who she is. On 80. Ugh. And I'm Dixie Lynn Fortnite. Oh, the, that's a game from the game. Hey, hey, are you a boy or a girl? It doesn't matter, it's 2019. Yeah, nice. Chant, we have not been together in so long. It's been a lovely break for me. Oh, okay. Okay. <coughs> oh my God. Sorry, that was the consumption. I was on uh, two planes. Of course. Uh, JB, do you have to eat your foot under the under light? Under the tripod. What is wrong with he you? He just changed everything. She's such an idiot. No, I keep saying he. Because dogs okay, are boys, cats are girls. See, that, I gotta get out of that. You gotta thing. get out of the mind. Oh, that is some closed minded. And now she's looking. That tries me on. That's fine. Our long time apart. So much has happened. So much has happened. Oh. Life changing things have happened. We just want to do a quick catch up for our video because uh, we we've been out of town and and relaxing and being on Thanksgiving break. Mm -hmm. And we know that there's going to be a lot of travel for Christmas. Sure. So we're working to get uh, more stuff kind of put. Uh, in the can, if you will, so that we can start releasing those out so we, we won't have the break that we just had. So we are mm -hmm. so sorry for that because people yes. were yeah. wondering. They were dropping off too. They were like, okay, bye, content maker. So you had a Thanksgiving. Do, do you believe in that holiday as a, a uh, general? Uh, uh, I do believe in eating uh, uh, goods with friends and spreading love through meals. I do not believe in uh, okay, the I'm sorry. of Okay, I have to get people. her out of here. Oh, is she going crazy? She's Bye! Come here, I'll get you some food. Do you want treats? Oh, Coming at you in 4K, okay, baby. Oh my Y'all see it, right? There it is. Yeah, I had a Friendsgiving. Uh, I cooked lemongrass beef lettuce wraps and pork and egg rolls, lemongrass beef. So you made beef out That's of cows sour. that only eat that? No, I oh. seasoned beef with lemongrass. Have you, oh, do you okay. cook? No. Oh, okay. You know how to cook something. Yeah, Um. so I have made mistakes. Well done. Mm-hmm. Okay, see, there Always. you go. Always. They're oh. never rare. <laughs> I did some exciting news. So I didn't get the, the job upgrade, right? Right. You, you in fact manager. got fired. I in fact, well, it was, <laughs> I was not fired. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so prideful. I was never was fired from never a job. Never fired. I quit before they could fire me. Mm -hmm. Well, it was a temp job, so it expired. Yeah. But uh -huh. what I did accept just recently, as of yesterday, is a position at Cresco Labs, which is a cannabis company that will be booming January 1st, 2020. <laughs> If we got it, we're gonna eat it, smoke it, rub it on our body, if do everything. If you got it, eat it. Well, that's exciting. Yeah. Does that mean you get free products? Oh, absolutely. Oh you gosh, know, I they've need... done events through Sidetrack too, this company, so. They have? Who knows, maybe we'll do something at Sidetrack with Oh, Crest or Girl we could just do something on IMHO. Oh. Yes. If it's legal where you are, it's totally fine. Oh, sure. And of course, if you're of age, and I am 16, so it works. So it passed. I've only ever uh, eaten um, marijuana before mm -hmm. once, and it was after I was already pretty wasted, so I threw up um, in a stranger's apartment and then I uh, had sex with him. Oh, ah, usually it's the other way around. You have sex, then you throw up, then it's done. Oh, no, 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 no. I waited until my mouth was good and gross. Oh. I said, come here, Dad. Soak it up, the throat. You had a lovely break, I'm sure. Something happened. <sighs> yes. So my dog Don't almost died. Oh, yes. Is that what you were referring to? Yes, well, probably. Yes, okay, sure. So I was here on Thanksgiving and I just worked at Sidetrack and I hugged all the little queers who couldn't go home mm. because their parents don't want them there. And I was like, 
same girl, same. We all hugged and we cried and we drank White Claws. Okay. Yeah, that was great. Aww. It was super duper fun, actually. Uh, there wasn't a lot, of, well, there were some tears, but that just comes with being in a bar in general. Yeah, we had a really fun time. We were supposed to fly out to Philadelphia to see my partner's family. Mm -hmm. It's where he grew up. It, we were, we need to leave by 9 a.m. Friday morning. So I woke up early, I had everything ready. It's 8.55 a.m. I'm like all packed and ready. Curtis is packing up all of his antidepressants and his toiletries. He's very <laughs> depressed because he lives with me. And I hear him go, JB, no. And I was like, what? He had walked away from his antidepressants um, and left them on the coffee table. He put them in the days of the week box. Mm -hmm. She ate Friday. So she took Prozac, Wellbutrin, and a Truvada. Hey. She's on prep. Hey. JB's on prep. Dolls on prep. She's good. Called poison control, which by the way, animal poison control, not free. Oh. No, you have to pay before they let you talk to anybody. What the hell? So, yeah, it's like $79. You have to like input payment before mm -hmm. you can like talk to a specialist. You talk to someone, you tell them what happened and they say, we can help you, but there is a fee because they have to talk to a vet. Like you're talking to, well, the operator goes and talks to the vet. A consultation. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, so they were like, get her to the vet. We were like, great. Took her to the vet and she was fine. They ended up just like making her throw up and she pooped charcoal all day, but she was fine. You could have made her throw up. I was going to, but then they were like, don't do that. And I was like, fine. fine. And I took my finger out of her mouth. No, she doesn't have a gag reflex. She's such a slut. Oh, Thank God okay. she's on prep. Hot dogging around. Because we missed our flight and I bought like the cheap seats. Mm -hmm. I ended up asking a friend of mine who worked for United. I was like, I'm supposed to lose this flight if I miss it because I paid like very little money for it. Mm -hmm. And he's like, I can help you. Mm -hmm. He got dressed in his uniform. Oh. In his uniform, I drove him to the airport. He wasn't working that day and he changed the flight because it was a medical emergency. Oh, what does uniform look like? I was blue. He got dressed in his little like work costume. That's a man. And then rode all the way to the airport just to fix it because I was having a medical emergency. That's a man. He's like, you fly United all the time. We love you for that. And like, it. this is an emergency. I brought the vet bill and he was like, I mean, United, I know that United has hurt doctors, <laughs> but, but. Oh, snapped him by the torso. Snapped him by the torso, but they love drag queens. But they love drag queens. I've been on flights with flight attendants, because flight attendants from United come to sh sidetrack all the time. And I usually oh. put them up on stage and make fun of them. I've had flight attendants be like, you pulled me up on stage six months ago and humiliated me and they still give me free drinks. Oh. Isn't that nice? That's lovely. Well, it's because we're gay. We hate ourselves. So they're like, thank you for saying the things that my mom always said to me growing up. United, this is just a public service announcement. I know that all airlines make mistakes. United did me super right in a moment that could have gone terribly wrong because we weren't just flying to Philadelphia to get away from our dog who clearly is suicidal, but I was flying to Philadelphia to propose. Mm. She engaged. Oh. Yeah, we went to Philly like to see his family and I was like, this is a good time. The whole family's there. They're very supportive, mm -hmm. which is another reason why United was so nice. Cause they were like, we, you gotta get married. We went to a nice dinner. I like pulled the server aside and I was like, I'm proposing. And he's like, that's great, man. Like that. And I was like, I get it. I'm not trying to fuck you. You know, when straight guys like yeah. overcompensate by calling you man and like yeah, grabbing yeah. you hard. The, yeah, yeah. We're bros. And why yeah. you never suck my Yeah, you oh, know. Oh, because you get married. Oh, you're oh, not married man. yet. <laughs> Meet you in the back. Yeah, you got pretty mouth. <laughs> so the meal is over and it's right before dessert, but they just cleared the plates. And I was like, well, I don't know that we're going to do dessert, so I'll just do it now. He doesn't wear jewelry. He likes watches. So there's a watch company called Nixon, which is my boy last name. Mm -hmm. So I thought, oh, that'll be appropriate because he'll be branded with my name on him forever. You know, so I had him like engrave the back to say, will you marry me? And it was gonna be like this big surprise. So I put the watch in front of him. I'm like, hey, it was our eight year anniversary a few weeks ago and we did nothing for it. So I decided this would be a nice surprise at this nice dinner to give you this watch. And he's like, that's so nice. Right when that happened, he was about to pull it out and like turn it over. A waiter comes up with dessert menus. I've got dessert menus and it wasn't our server. So this guy had no idea what was going on. And I was like, so I just kind of put my hand over his to like hold the watch down so he doesn't see it. And he's like putting down dessert menus. Then Curtis's dad, who is very, very social, was like, 
Well, thank you so much. What is your favorite dessert? Oh, you know, God. I'm Here usually more of a chocolate guy. And I was like, Jerry, That's white not people. now. White people always striking up a conversation. Uh, what, what do y'all ever talk about anyway? A dessert. Oh. So I really, I really did scream like, Jerry, not now. And he was like, oh, okay, I'm sorry. And then the guy like walked away kind of confused. And then I said, what does the back of it say? <laughs> and then as Curtis turned over the watch, I got down on one knee. And then he started crying. I started to tear In up. In protest. Yeah, he's like, no. <laughs> we both teared up, and then I pulled the ring out of my. I was after he got his watch. I was like, now I have my ring. Please put it on my finger. You're very like fantasy fairy tale, like. Well, you know what? When we were in like our first two or three years of a relationship, I was like, I'm gonna make a movie, and I'm gonna have the movie play at the music box, and I'm gonna fill it with a hundred of our closest friends and family. And we're gonna have a big party, blah blah blah. You know, like you do all those like big. I'm gonna rent a blimp. Mm -hmm. But eight years in, I was like, let's just go to dinner. Yeah. I know. You still did the knee thing. I still did the, still knee, did the thing. knee thing. And at my age, surprisingly, I was able to get right back up. No bones were broken. Mm -mm. Wow. A little bruising. I was a little sore for a couple of days. Did everyone in the in the restaurant go, no! Aww. No, that was so crazy. <laughs> I was like, I was expecting you my expecting big moment. Him. And there were tables all around us. Not a single person noticed. People were like, literally, no one cares. <laughs> no oh one my cares. God. I was like, well, so to be rude. fair, they looked over and his dad is talking to the waiter about chocolate. I'm on one knee, but he's putting on a watch. It was all very confusing. From an outsider's point of view, they were like, what? Why, why would you want What this? is happening in this Japanese American fusion <laughs> restaurant? What custom is this? What like, custom is this? I didn't read this? on this, love. Ugh. Doll. So when's the wedding? Well, I don't want the paparazzi to get word. We're thinking October only because that's our anniversary already. And I don't want to do two different anniversaries. Mm -hmm. Like, what do people do? If you're regular anniversary, you've been together eight years. You don't want to throw that away. Mm -hmm. And then you get married, like, in a different month. You're like, this is our dating anniversary. This is our... Mm -mm. You I want just, it all on one? All on one. Okay. We want to do like a justice of the peace for the ceremony because there's a lot of people I want at like the party mm -hmm. after, but I wouldn't necessarily want to get married in front of. I don't want you watching me get married with all of your dirty thoughts. Oh, I wonder what they do. Oh, Probably do. read a book and then go straight to bed. You, <laughs> so mm, true. Is that it? But we're gonna have like a big party that we'll invite. You know. Yeah. Ooh ooh. Ooh, 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 I'm a DJ at your party. I'm a DJ at your party. I actually need a valet. Oh, them people that drive the cars around? Yeah, could you park all the cars? Yeah. Thank you. I'll put all of them in the lake. We are gonna have a Dixie's Bachelorette party at Sidetrack, and we'll try to announce that in advance so that if you are in the area, you can come. That's gonna be so crazy. Yeah, I wanna do a roast. I wanna do yes. like, I would love it if everyone that came to my Bachelorette party was the stereotype. I want everyone like with, those penis crowns. Oh my god! Like, I just want everyone to be obnoxious and oh, that'd be. So this is gonna be so perfect because I think it's gonna pull in the people that are in on the joke and the people who are gonna slowly be in on the joke. The right? Like, oh, 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 it's I'm oh, I'm part of the me. problem. Well, I'm part of the problem. No. Oh well, I'm Stacy. <laughs> we had a couple other things happen in the digital world. One, yeah. Uh, we had Drag Wives from Rowdy House come out, Drag Wives 2. Yes, and I was in that one. You were featured in that one, boom. And you know what? I want you in the third one. Stop it. I think you were so... Do not write checks that your mouth will bounce on my dick. No, I lost Oh, is that the... Is, that the, is there a phrase like that? I had a great time. The episode is chaos at its so finest, chaotic. but I do feel like Reed did a good job of including like talking heads to kind of yes. drive so you can follow. But let me tell you, a lot of times none of us knew what was going on. We no. were just like, this is crazy, let's just lean in. I wanna know how they film actual Real Housewives. Like, what is the, the process? Do they give them like a, a setup or anything? How much of it is like scripted? I bet a lot of it is very similar to Drag Race that they're storyline producers and they're kind of driving it. They set up a shooting schedule. They're like, all right, you're shooting with this girl to discuss this fight or mm -hmm. whatever. I think a lot of the girls come in with what they want to have as their storyline too. Yeah, absolutely. Speaking of, season 13 was just announced as the opening of auditions. Before- They never do that this early. I know, it's stressed. So many people. Before All-Stars 5, 
before season 12. Announcements on when they're released, period. Yeah, usually they don't announce auditions until the season cast is announced, right? Yeah. Isn't it usually like season 12, like the, the date or the cast, something happens and then they're like, by the way, you have a month. Yeah. I mean, they are giving people like eight weeks as in, instead of four. Yeah. But it is over the holidays. It when is. Everyone's, it's a, a really weird it's time. It's so weird. Yeah, and I'm worried about their pacing. Like, if they're moving this fast, will it be like good content or are you making fast food out of reality TV? Here's the deal. For those of you who have never auditioned for Drag Race, it's a, it's a huge issue. Like, it is a 20 minute video with 130 <laughs> elements. It is, it's it super is, long, it it's super complicated. It's very time consuming, but it is casting for a TV show. It is. And I think more important, because I was, I'm a rule follower. That's why I've never had a parking ticket. Mm -hmm. You won't find me on parking lot. Uh-huh, rule follower, Miss um, But it was very important to me to get all the elements and get everything right, whatever. I think it's just more important that you show who you are and have fun. That's what they want to see. Like that RuPaul, work with too. Yeah, that RuPaul still says that Trixie Mattel's audition tape was the funniest thing she'd ever seen. And she wanted her like right then and there. Mm -hmm. And I doubt it followed all the rules to a D, you know? So if you're going to audition, send in stuff, like try and hit the elements, <coughs> but just really... Be authentic with it. Yeah, be funny. Yeah. If I you're not funny, be Mercedes Amon Diamond, you know? Make sounds. Make sounds and be okay with leaving early. Yeah. Oh. Oh. They just announced that, uh, which will keep everyone distracted and, and busy with those auditions while we audition. While we audition. For Camp Wanna Keep You Season 3. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Do you think that we could get out into the woods? I, 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 I don't know about them bugs. I need air conditioning. I need... Well, I, well, we'll put that in our audition video. Okay. We'll say, okay, we'll do the show, but instead of outdoors... We're gonna do it at a Holiday Inn Express. Cause I'd say, it's yeah. gotta be Continental Breakfast. Mm -hmm. 500 plus channels. Absolutely. And a dirty bathrobe. Hmm, you, did you, uh, the skillets. Do you remember the pancake skillets? Yes. The shape of like your state, yeah. out of Texas one. I can't name a cuter shape than the Texas state. You think Texas is a cute shape? I think it's a really cute shape. Why? It's just so unique. Yeah, it's just big. It's just like, big, and it, you know, there's like you little know, racist big. corners here, and then yeah, like a really hold up now. section here, and then a wall at the hold bottom. Hold up now. You could be racist and still be nice. Oh, no, that's, no. that's not true. <laughs> that's not true. <laughs> Did you know that the KKK doesn't wear robes anymore? There's a section of the KKK that wears business suits. That's scary, because now they're trying to blend into society. Yeah. Well, they're accountants. What is the state? In okay. Arkansas, Texas. So in Texas, I know there's a neighboring state that you like to shit on, right? Is there a neighboring state that you all are just like, ugh? I think we make fun of Louisiana a lot. Why? I think it's because we're just like, we feel like we're elite to them or yeah. something. Well, cause like, I That's think- That's Texas's ego though. Every, well, no, every state has that because we live in Illinois and we shit on Indiana. Mm -hmm. In Tennessee, at least in Memphis, because that's like West Tennessee, Arkansas was the state we should own. And we had plenty of options. We border Missouri, Arkansas, Kentucky, and Mississippi. Oof. And Arkansas still won. Oh. Because it's just the worst place. It's, it's what hard. is your what is the state that your state shits on? Leave in the comments below. I wanna know. Because mm. every state has that. Well, but California shit on. Well, I guess okay. every, everything that's not California. I guess, I don't know. I don't know what that side of the country looks like. It's all square states. What is a map? I can't read a map. The other day, someone told me about their trip to Hawaii and I almost asked them, what's the conversion rate? Like, is it more expensive to live there because of their currency? And then I remembered it was in the United States. But it is more expensive to live there. It is. Because they have to put everything, They so they put all of their supplies on cute little tugboats and then little ducks will swim across the ocean so that from California to Hawaii so that everybody can drink milk. Aww. We also had something else happen on the internet. Yes. So we initially put all of our merch up on Redbubble and the reason was, and I argued for it and I take all the blame for it, I think the quality of Redbubble is high and that's why I argued for it. However, it's expensive. Yeah. It's a, like the quality is high, but you pay for the quality. Mm -hmm. You do your shirts on Amazon. Yes. 
And so you had said like, why don't we just do it on Amazon? It's cheaper, it's more affordable. So we we did it. Ding, ding, ding. So you can get, um, so far, uh, the only one we have up right now is just the, the design by Austin. Mm -hmm. Austin does design? Yeah. Yeah, it is. A classic tea, so like a Hainsey kind of more relaxed tea mm -hmm. that's available in the US and the UK. And then the kind of premium fitted tea, which is one I ordered and I liked a lot. That's only available in the US, but they are $15 and $17 respectively. Mm, they come in white, pink, and blue. Yes, yeah, super cute. They go well with a jean jacket Ooh, or a yeah. cardigan, mm -hmm. something that you can layer your own. An STD result, an perhaps. STD. Let's to the Howard Brown. Yeah, why not? Yeah. They're super duper affordable. They're prime delivery free. So 15 bucks, you get a t-shirt. Now, it is made by a child. It absolutely. Well, yes. Is it good, like, morally? No. No. <laughs> but it's Amazon. Love. It's Amazon, but we're girl. getting it to you cheaper. Yeah. Oh, and, like, if you don't need two-day delivery, don't do two-day delivery because someone is breaking their back for you to get that. Just, you know, give it Literally. seven days. You'll get an extra dollar on a digital download. You can download a single. You can download Mambo number no. 5. For it's free. crazy to me that they can print something and ship it out in two days. Well, that's why people physically suffer for it. Ah. But, ooh, when you get it so quick, it feels so good. Mm. I did order one. I ordered the pink premium one okay. just to check to see that the sizing was right. And it's super cute. I loved it. It does smell weird. Oh, you just it gotta does, break that in. It just smells you just gotta break weird. That in. It just smells like the printing, like they printed it and immediately sealed it in a bag. I was mm. like, chemicals. One thing that's happening tonight is now that Drag Race is over, we're still doing IMHO nights mm -hmm. at Sidetrack. Mm -hmm. so this will be our first one. We'll be doing performances. Alexis Bevels will be there. Sai and Naomi, who love we her. love, she'll love be her. there. Uh, so they'll be doing performances. We'll be playing games. One of the games we're gonna be playing is I Y H O and your homosexual opinion. So we're going to give someone in the bar three things that happened in the week and we want to get their opinion and we'll tell them if their opinion is right or wrong. Mm. And if they get two out of three, they get a prize. And we will be recording that and releasing that. Ooh. Um, yeah, so if you have ever wanted to be on IMHO, this is a really easy way to do it. Yeah, And you can win a prize. It's probably a really exciting prize, like a fanny pack, a t-shirt, a porn on a tote DVD, bag, a tote bag, a charger, a charger, a hug, a firm handshake. <laughs> so if you are in Chicago, uh, you can go every Thursday to see us and we will put you on the internet. We do want to thank the Patreon people who um, did uh, renew and are sticking with us because we are putting out stuff like the engagement story and all of that. Absolutely. That has been out for a, a few days. We put that out on our the three way, way phone podcast. Yes. Um, me and Alexis singing at the Little Mermaid. That is up. Us doing And I'm Telling You. Dueling and I yes, 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 yes. That is up there. So we are working to get more stuff up there, but we know that it can be frustrating getting a, a channel started. So uh, we did lose a lot of patrons mm -hmm. at the beginning well, of the month. Well. But it's understandable. It's Christmas. If you don't have the money, please don't do it. Uh -huh. uh, but if you do, it is a huge help. Always to us. so grateful for anyone Beyond, that is that's what what their money towards us. That's you know? what we're thinking. Very for. thankful. Thank you. We will be back uh, very, very soon. I think we, we have something on the docket for this weekend. So so, thank you so much for watching. We love you. Love you. I'm getting married in October. And Jane I'm valet parking the car. In the lake. I'm gonna drive the car. In the lake. These people who know Dixie. In the lake. Into Lake Michigan. For a second, I thought you were doing so slow because you didn't know what lake it was. I was about to be worried. <laughs> it's, it's Lake Michigan. It is dirty.